Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a fabulous Tuesday. Thanks for joining me for Try It Out Tuesday. Today we're using a Hero Art stamp set. It's a floral stamp set. It's a smaller one and it's called Magnolia. There are some pretty sentiments in here. Wishing you well was one of my favorites, so that's what we're going to use on our card today. Um, I'm going for a vintage look, but today's card kind of gave me a, a little bit of a problem. Usually with vintage I go with browns, but today I thought we'll shake it up a bit and go with grays, creating the same vintage look but with grays. And that kind of threw me off a little bit, but I think it worked out in the end. We're going to start off by stamping my magnolia. We're going to stamp it twice. I brought in my Misty here. I'm stamping on Nina, um, 80 pound cardstock, and I'm going to stamp with my Riverstone ink. It's a dark gray ink. And then I wanted to keep it kind of soft. Um, so stamping it once in the corner here, we're going to flip our panel around and I'm going to stamp it once more. And then um, we're going to color in with Copic markers. Now I left the coloring in and I'm going to play some music for you. Um, I did list the colors that I used, although it was kind of a hot mess with my coloring too. I used, you'll see here in a little bit that I use an RV23 and it was just way too bright. So I doled it down with my E31. So that's... Um, why I chose those colors. I didn't choose them very well. But I'll play some music while I color and when I'm done coloring I will catch you back.
Okay, coloring is just about done. I'm gonna go ahead and blend it out with my colorless blender, and then I'm also gonna highlight the center of the flowers with a, a warm gray, a W5. Um, this will take away a little bit more of the pink and add a little bit more of the, the vintage-y look. And I'm happy with this. Now I'm going to take my scissors, fussy cut each one of my flowers out, although there is a coordinating die that will die cut this out, and I'll link it down below if you guys wanna check that out. But I think they turned out so pretty. White flowers are so hard for me to color uh, or to keep maintain the white look. You know, with just a little bit of pink, that was a little difficult for me. I guess you could tell during the coloring. Okay, this stamp is from Stamp Pandas. It's a six by six stamp. It's called Posted Script. Love this for my vintage looking cards. We are going to um, ink up our stamp with Tin Pail and we're gonna ink it up on some Tin Pail cardstock. So the ink and the paper coordinate just going to ink this up and I, after I have it inked up I was going to bring the paper to my ink pad and I thought we better bring in the misty just in case I have to double stamp um, there, and, and I wasn't sure how light it would stamp um, and I'm glad I did bring in the misty I'm going to just tape lightly tape my panel on the inside here I already removed my mask pad and we're going to add our already inked up stamp right over the top and um, I'm happy I brought this in because the ink was a little bit too light so tin pail on tin pail was a little bit too light for what I was looking for so I'm gonna ink it up again with a darker ink I'm gonna use the Riverstone the same ink that we used to stamp our Magnolia and I was a lot happier with this so one shade darker super pretty so there is my background. Next, I'm gonna take a double stitched rectangle die and I'm gonna die cut out a panel. The size of my panel ends up measuring three and a half inches by four and three quarters. And then I'll take that same, uh, same Riverstone ink and a blending tool and then I'm gonna um, darken the edges with the same ink, kind of distressing it. The nice thing uh, if you use a stitched, um, stitched rectangle die, um, the stitch detail kind of pops a little bit when you add color over the top of it. So just darkening these edges, going um, going around my entire background. And I love the gray. I ended up really liking the gray. Um, sometimes we get set in our ways or vint vintage photo, you know, that's my go-to for for antique looking cards. But I'm, I'm really liking the gray. So there's my panel. Next, I taped both of my flowers together here. After I taped them together, I trimmed off that, the excess, um, kind of overlapping them a little bit, and I did pop them up with foam adhesive. So they're ready to go. Now we're gonna stamp our sentiment. I didn't, I didn't, um, I, I didn't, since the background was a little bit busy, I wanted my sentiment to stand out. So I chose vellum to stamp my sentiment on. I have a one inch strip here, and I'm gonna add, my sentiment says wishing you well, just treated my, my vellum with my anti-static powder tool. I'm gonna to ink it up with my VersaFine Onyx Black ink and stamp it a little bit towards the um, left of my strip because I wanted a leaf overhanging on my vellum. Um, I'm gonna also bring in some clear embossing powder, go over my sentiment, and I thought we would go ahead and emboss this. So we'll use the heat gun and melt our sentiment. The nice thing about the VersaFine Onyx Black ink is um, it's not a, a rich black. If you heat emboss this um, with clear embossing powder, it, it dulls down the richness of your, your VersaFine ink. So it's like a real dark, smoky gray. And I thought it would go really well with, um, with our card today. Okay, I'm gonna use the grid lines on my mat, kind of line up my sentiment, add adhesive to the left and to the right here, and fold over the vellum on the reverse side, kind of creating a little band. And I think that looks really pretty. I'm gonna take that other half of flower and put it on the bottom corner. Um, I like doing this, that way it saves me, I don't have to color three flowers. And um, it looks like there are three flowers on your card. I like that. <laughs> Especially with larger flowers, you can get away with it. Okay, we have a little dimension because we did pop those flowers up. We're gonna flip over our panel. Um, and then I decided I'm gonna lower my flowers a little bit. I wanted my, my leaf to be lower on the vellum. 
So we're just going to lower this slightly and I was happier with the way this looked. Okay, we're going to add fun foam behind the back and my fun foam is an adhesive back so I just use my tape runner to adhere it to my card and then I'm going to remove the release paper and then add this to a standard A2 size um, card base. It's top folding and I use the same um, tin pail cardstock that I used for um, my background panel. Okay, for bells and whistles, I'm going to bring in some of my bubbles. I have two different sizes and I want to add them to my panel. We're going to add a few on top of the vellum too. Um, now, as I got this done, um, it was kind of dreary looking and I didn't want my wishing you well card to be dreary. So we're going to fix that in just a minute. I'm going to add some of my diamond stickles. These are from Ranger and I did highlight the center of my flowers with them. But I decided to put my to lift up my panel completely and we're going to do a little bit of a redo. <laughs> I'm going to adhere it says to the gray card, card base. I'm going to adhere it to a white card base. And I think you could hopefully you could see the difference too but it just kind of popped against the white card base versus the gray um i think my panel looked pretty but against the card base it just looked a little too dreary and i thought before i add it let's go ahead and lower the sentiment too <laughs> for a little bit more balanced look this is my problem card but we're gonna lower it a little bit i wanted the bottom leaf and the leaf, um, both leaves to hit my vellum, just for a little bit more balance. I'm gonna line it up, re-adhere those leaves, and then I'll just flip those um, tabs back behind my panel, and then we'll add our fun foam. Now, if I were to have used um, glue on my fun foam or my double-sided um, tape, I don't think I could have did this. <laughs> so it kind of worked out that I used my tape runner to add my, um, my fun foam here but we're going to redo put our card back on our white card base and i was happier with this guy he's <laughs> what do you think <laughs> thank you so much for joining me for try it out tuesday um hope you like my project if you're interested links are below and still shots are over on my blog that link is down below as well thanks for joining me we'll see you next tuesday for another tutorial have a fabulous day bye bye